Well, hey, welcome to this week's Monday message. My name's John. If you're new to these messages, welcome. Thanks for dropping by. Thanks for connecting with us. Um, if you're returning, thanks for returning. It's good to see you again. Um, for those that are new to this, I've been journeying through a couple of, uh, well, a little series of uh, little messages over the past few weeks in, uh, called Restoration. And we've reached the final part of that, that little series today. And this message is entitled Waves to High Waves. Waves to High Waves. And I really hope this message encourages you. I hope the whole series encourages you. Um, but I'm just going to open the, the Bible to start off with. It's a good place to start. And um, I'm going to share a little passage of scripture to you. Um, context wise, um, Jesus has just fed the 5,000. For those that are knowledgeable with those kind of things, yes, the, the Bible story of Jesus feeding the 5,000, the five loaves and two fishes. And uh, he's just done that. He's just gone off on to the cliff edge to, or as it says here, climb the mountain so that he could be with himself and to pray. And um, the disciples went in a boat and they off to sea, they go and they get caught into a storm. And while in this storm, fearing for their life, they see this figure in, on, walking on the water and they, they think it's a ghost, but actually it's Jesus. And... Um, we then meet them in this particular part of the story where Peter starts to feel like he wants to go and walk towards Jesus. And um, so we pick that up at so it's chapter 14 in Matthew and it goes from verse 28. It says this, Peter suddenly bold said, Master, if it's really you, call me to come to you on the water. Jesus said, come ahead. Jumping out of the boat, Peter walked on the water to Jesus. But when he looked down at the waves churning beneath his feet, he lost his nerve and started to sink. So Peter cried, Master, save me. Jesus didn't hesitate. He reached down and grabbed his hand. Then he said, faint heart, what got into you? The two of them climbed into the boat and the wind died down. I love that story. I love the the story of Peter and his heart to walk on the water and I hope that this message will, will help you as you walk the waves of life. But I just want to share a little story with you that if that's alright. And um, now my wife absolutely loves swimming. <laughs> I don't know what it is but Beth can spend hours swimming right out whatever depth in the sea. For me, however, I'm quite happy just chilling in the shallower parts of the sea nearer the beach and just uh, feeling quite comfortable in myself. There was an occasion while on holiday a couple of years ago in Croatia that Beth wanted to swim from this little cove we had found to the main beach. Now, I must add, this was not a short distance. Beth, bold as brass, swam about half a mile. Well definitely felt much longer than that, back to the main beach near the hotel. I was slowly walking on the bank shouting to Beth saying, I ain't coming in there if you, get, if you start to struggle. Mean, I know. Please don't judge me. This had me thinking about Peter and this particular story of him walking on water to Jesus in the midst of the storm. Now for so many of us, the storms of life can seem overwhelming, can't they? Even in the sense of restoration, when we feel like we are making progress, moving forward past addictions or healing from anxiety and depression or growth in our relationships, we can sometimes find ourselves having the waves crashing over us. Now Peter was fearless in that moment. Peter, full of faith, took the leap. The biggest leap he could have done in that moment placing his feet in the tempest. I always find it difficult to place myself in the shoes or sandals in this case of Peter in that moment. Would I have had the faith to listen to Jesus and put my feet over the edge of the safety of that boat? I don't know. Now, when it comes to the situations in which we are going through, we can have days where, just like Peter, we have the heart to do just that. Get out and walk in faith. But there are days when we fall. 
days when we start to sink into the waves of our situations. Days where we find ourselves sinking with the weight of our past, the grapple of our sin or the intensity of our conviction just weighing over us. When it comes to restoration, it can feel like this so, so often. We can get away from the not so comfort hold of our addiction or the intensity of our depression and feel like we are making progress. We walk and we seem to be riding the waves, but then the waves come crashing over us. But, and that's a really big but, but Jesus meets us in the waves. Jesus looks to us and meets us where we need him. Just like Peter within this physical tempest, when he starts to sink and fear for the future in his life, Jesus comes to him and reaches out his hand and lifts him back into the safety of that boat. The good news is Jesus is able to do this in your situation too. Maybe you've been fighting with an addiction to alcohol. Or maybe you are fighting the temptations of pornography. Maybe you are fighting against those dark thoughts which seem to be consuming you and you want to end your life. You may feel like you are making progress in your restoration before the ugly head of your tempest-like situation raises its head again. But remember this, friend. You are not to be consumed by this. You have power to overcome and to walk those waves. You have the ability to listen to the call of Jesus to come to me and the power to walk towards a new redemption, a new opportunity, a new life, a new world. Just like best fearlessness to just jump and to swim towards that beach which seems so far. Well, it did in my eyes, and even if it didn't in hers. We have the ability to be confident that we can make it. We have the ability to overcome the waves, turning them into highways towards Jesus. I am so, so very confident that whatever it is that you find yourself in, that Jesus is able to do immeasurably more than you could ever imagine. Jesus is able to do immeasurably more than we could ever imagine, and that's Ephesians 3.20. My friend, you are loved. My friend, you have amazing power waiting to come through your situation. As you reach this ultimate restoration, this ultimate restoration, I pray that you find peace. I pray that you find rest. I pray that you find that peace within your soul. I pray that you find the love and grace of Jesus in your life that is so freely yours because Jesus died on that cross for you. He hung on that cross for the small possibility that you may recognise him as your Lord and Saviour. He rose from the dead on the third day so that he can prove that even death is defeated. Just like that sin of yours, it is defeated. He wants to have a personal relationship with you and he wants to waste no time in waiting for that. My friend, walk to him. Walk to him through the waves and walk to him and meet him right where you are and right where you need him. Turn those waves into highways today, my friend. I hope this message has been encouraging to you today. <clears throat> I pray that this series has been helpful to you. If you're new to these messages and you're only tuning in today and you want to find the other messages I did on restoration, they are available on whatever means you're watching. So if you're on Facebook, just go through to the videos on our page and you'll find them there. Or if you're on IGTV, on Instagram, you can just go through our IGTV part on our profile and you'll find it there. 
or YouTube, exactly the same. You'll find them under the videos, but wherever you're watching this from, um, I just pray and I just hope that these messages of restoration will help you as you seek that restoration in whatever you're, you're battling and fighting with, in particular this year, when in life in general. But my friend, you are in our thoughts and prayers. We pray for you daily, even though we may not have ever met. Maybe we you're just sort of seeing me virtually here, but we pray for you daily. And um, we're here for you. So if you ever need to just reach out, if you have any questions or maybe you're, you're, you're wanting to find Jesus, that's amazing and we're here for you. If you want to, to just reach out and to, to speak to us about that and we can signpost you to places if need be as well. Or if you just want prayer, we're, we're here for that too. Absolutely. But thank you for tuning in today. I hope you have a really good week. I hope that this week has opportunities for you to to find that restoration and um, whatever this week throws at you I hope that this message sets you up for a great week but again thanks for tuning in and uh, we hope to see you again soon take care god bless see you soon